everyone we are going to be working in my kitchen today i'm doing a quick throwback to when we bought our home just so we can see where we started i always feel like that's super important um first up we replaced all of our appliances um, the cooktop and the oven as soon as we moved in um, and then I placed an order for a new dishwasher which took forever to get in um, but while waiting for the dishwasher we installed a shiplap around the island which I kind of want to change now <laughs> um, I kind of want to get rid of that and um, so that could be an upcoming video as well um, but then we also painted the kitchen and um, painted the cabinets and we also got a new refrigerator as well so then the kitchen kind of stayed like this for a while with the white cabinets and agreeable gray on the walls um you know it, it worked it worked for us we weren't in a hurry to remove the backsplash because we knew it was going to be a big job <laughs> but my husband bought a new um, range hood for over the stove it's you know really efficient it has a higher um, CFM, CFM like uh, suction for the air to like really get rid of any odors and grease um, and everything so we really want to get rid of the old one but it was kind of stuck behind the tile um, and we were trying to do it without breaking the custom range hood cover and then also without breaking any tile but we we, we failed at both <laughs> we ended up failing at both but um you know this sometimes you gotta gotta break an egg you gotta break some tile in order to get the end result that you want I thought this was really gross look at all that grease that was on top of that uh range hood um cover i guess <laughs> and i just went to town i was like well if we're gonna break it we might as well break it all it was actually really 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 tough to get these tiles off the wall it was definitely not a um simple job we thought that this was going to be like a weekend maybe two weekend type deal and it's been um we started the day before new year's eve and now it's what almost the end of it's like middle to the end of january this took forever but we um worked together we got her done and i'm so excited so all that's left is you and me i can promise you're the only thing i see So my husband ended up taking all the drywall off the other side, but we managed to save the drywall on this side. Um, I, I honestly think they didn't use as much glue on this side um, as the other side because this this one, the, the tiles on this end like fell off a lot, a lot easier for us. Close your eyes and let us fade away. Tell the secret place for you and me. 
teamwork makes the dream work. I give him the job of getting all the tiles off um, and I got to clean up, um, which I didn't mind too, too much, but this was definitely a dusty and dirty job. Um, we try to be as clean as possible, but in the end, you just got to do what you got to do. You got to let the dust fly. We did end up having a little window fan right there in the kitchen that kind of helped suck everything out, especially since you know, we didn't have the working range hood anymore. Um, so we were trying to like keep the dust down, keep, you know, keep it as clean of a workspace as possible. can't get over how good it looks without that four inch um, granite backsplash that they put up. Um, we are keeping the taller six inch backsplash behind the, um, the sink area and under the window just because it was like it's really stuck in there without having to take the trim out the window and I think it looks really nice to kind of define the, um, the kitchen or the uh, sink area. I think it ends up looking really really nice. I can hear you but in the silence ooh, we will dance away the gloomy days right here we are silver And I am just going around and doing a nice little skim coat on everything. I sanded everything down as best as I could. My husband on the other side of the kitchen is putting in a fancy smancy pot filler, which I am super excited about. We were like, you know what? If we're, if we're going to be doing this, if we're going to be tearing down the tile, let's go ahead and put a pot filler in. So that's, that's what we're doing. Oh, here we were trying to put the new, we were that much off. It's so crazy. We're trying to put the new um, range. It's like, it comes in two pieces. It's like the metal casing and then you put the power pack in with the fan in it and everything. We ended up having to break the uh, custom hood anyway, but it's okay. We're going to remake it later on. So I'm just going to say we are DIYers, like we are not professionals. We don't know what we're doing. I have done tile in the past. We've done tile on the floor, but this is the first time I'm working with oversized wall tiles. Um, these were big tiles and it was hard to keep it level. Um, even though I use the mini level, we're obviously using the laser level. I was trying to keep everything just level and plumb and perfect. and just looking good um my husband was beast mode with all the cuts he did a fantabulous job um because this is so many cuts it was just it was a very hard long process and i'm so glad it's done but um we learned a lot especially um you know going into maybe doing our master bathroom we've learned a lot doing this um i kind of do wish i just did like a mosaic tile that i could have you know thrown up there and had a little bit more wiggle room with everything but uh i enjoy the end um the end look for sure but we definitely struggled doing this time flies yet there's butterflies in my palms and in my eyes so it took us um a day 
to do a wall <laughs> just because we have a toddler. My, my daughter was trying to help us out with watching Malcolm while we were working um, in here. My husband did a fan tabulous job um, with all of the cuts. He just did such a, he was like so meticulous about it. And we had a lot of awkward cuts and, and things to work around and he did so good. We, um, I do best like laying and making things level and like making sure things look great. And he does a really good job as far as like, um, calculating and doing the cuts and measuring. Um, so it was really handy having him run back and forth and do that while I, um, plotted out and lead the tile. By the third day, especially this um, little area that we were working on here, he decided to use a template instead of just wasting tiles. This was such an awkward area because we have the little um, window casing to worry about and then also um, the four switches, the four gang switch that we had to deal with and then not too you know, too close to that was another outlet. It was just a very awkward area and he did such a good job figuring it all out. I just decided to go with the little plastic end cap to kind of cap off and finish off the tile and I think it looks really really nice it kind of just blends in with everything um, I originally got a bullnose tile um, to do the ends, but I just was like, you know what? I think that we're just going to go with the plastic piece because one of the long linear plastic pieces did all of the capping that we needed for the entire room. So it worked out. been um bought a little tool that we could use to do like a circular cut on the tile we locked out being that it was on um the edge of the tiles i was worried that it was gonna be right smack in the middle but that would have um the little tool would have handled that as well but um i'm just really proud of of how you know how well we did This tile was on sale at Lowe's. It was like 89 cents a piece. I think it's a Santori brand. It's just a white um, gloss tile and it's like bigger. I just really liked it. And I'm just using a white um, grout as well. I liked the look of the dark grout, but it also felt really, really, really busy to me just having those lines everywhere. So the white is kind of classic and makes everything sort of blend in together and i really really like how it turned out Golden. 
this was super tiring trying to do um, all of the grouting myself. I was trying to be really clean. You can see I put some cling wrap and also painter's tape down, but my float was way too big. I This was the float that I bought to do the flooring, the oversized flooring in our powder room i really needed a smaller float but i was like i'm not spending any more money i'm not going <laughs> i'm not going back to town to get a smaller float but um it was just a lot of work with your muscles and then the thing is you have to go back through and wash everything down so it's it's a long 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 process also updated all the switches in here and the outlets in here we have alexa switches that way we can just talk to alexa to turn um, things on and off my husband is working on the pot filler this was super exciting to me i've always wanted a pot filler and we finally um you know pulled the trigger and installed one and let me tell you i've used it a couple times now and it's it's really awesome to have especially in my kitchen where it's like my sink is like 12 steps away so if i'm trying to carry a large soup pot with a bunch of water in it it, it gets really heavy I originally painted the back of these cabinets and I love it. I think it's so pretty. This is like the perfect blue, but it's just so dark. It's so dark in there and it just, it sucks all the light out of the room. Um, so I'm painting it white again and we'll see. Maybe I'll add some fun wallpaper back there or do something and maybe I'll change my mind when we change out the lighting because one light is burnt out in here and the other one's really yellow. All of our under cabinet lighting is super yellow and the wires are everywhere. We were going to put that on our to-do list to work on that for this video as well. We just ran out of time. Um, so I'm just going to add that into another video because we're, I think we're going to be working on that this, this coming weekend. And I didn't want to delay this video yet again. Um, it's so crazy how much longer it takes to do everything when you have a small child. Bless all these people that are renovating with small children. I forgot that it takes forever. Um, when we were renovating when my older two were little, I d obviously didn't have a YouTube channel and we weren't under any kind of time constraints. When you're on doing a YouTube channel and you're like filming things um, to like do a video every single week, you kind of have the pressure on. So I'm just not letting myself fall under that pressure and I'm just going to, things are going to get done when they get done. <laughs> I think my husband did a fantastic job rebuilding this hood vent. Um, we ended up reusing the top trim um, on the new pieces of wood and we just ended up putting a flat piece on the bottom and I'm just painting it all white and it just, it looks really good. We did such a good job. I'm really, really proud of us. Caulking does such wonderful things <laughs> to finish off a space. I was stressing out about this caulking. Um, I did end up using painter's tape. I usually just wing it, but since we have that harsh line of granite and um, white tile, the painter's tape helps keep it really, really, really clean looking. Oh, 
I ended up having to paint the backs of this cabinet and this range hood like with three or four um, coats of paint. It was just sucking up that paint. It was hard to cover that dark, dark blue. Um, but in the end, we got her done. To be honest, it still could probably use another coat of paint. <laughs> That's how I always feel about everything. Still could use some more paint, but it's good enough. And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back those poor under cab lights are killing my vibe, but um, I decided to just get a new air fryer and coffee maker. I went with the beautiful line. I ended up getting the white appliances. We use our air fryer every single day um, for breakfast, for lunch. Oh my gosh, if you've never tried air fryer Brussels sprouts, let me tell you, you're missing out. Um, and I just wanted to create a um, nice little like coffee tea corner over here um, without putting too much stuff everywhere. I didn't want a ton of stuff all over the counters. I'm really, really, really going to pressure myself on not cluttering up the counters with decor or, uh, you know, anything, small appliances. Um, I really want to keep it just nice, clean, bright, and um, open. to home goods too to try and find some like decor pieces and some extra cutting boards something to go in this cabinet and i couldn't find anything so instead of buying a bunch of nonsense i'm just putting a couple things in here and i'm going to figure it out i think i'm going to make this more of my baking cabinet i'm going to get some pretty jars and put in like my walnuts and my pecans pecans however you say it pecans pecans that's how i say it um and some mixing bowls and like the measuring cup and just like make it look really pretty but also have it super functional to just be to really see Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video um, entertaining at the very least. I am going to go ahead and paint those um, unpainted areas uh, around the windows and then also at the end of um, the tile. Um, I totally spaced and forgot to paint those before I started like putting things back and decorating. I was just so excited to, to put things um, back on the counters um, and start using my kitchen that uh, I totally forgot to touch up these areas. But thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do another little walkthrough. Um, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads. I hit the brakes. Throw stones into a quiet lake What is it you're really saying? I turn the thoughts to little waves Space on either side Of every single I am so thrilled with how everything turned out um, I still need to get some decor for these shelves Home Goods didn't really have anything um, really, really happy with how our pot filler and our new, um, range hood came out. I'm glad we were able to kind of reuse the, um, 
the hood vent with some new wood addition to it. We made that a little bit thicker and bigger on the bottom um, to accommodate the new range hood. This shelf I'm still struggling with. Um, <laughs> I think I might put some baking doodads in there. I don't know. Um, I really love having the white back in there. We are going to be replacing the under cabinet lights because as you can see, the wires and stuff, this, that was from the previous owner, is still a hot mess. And the color temperature makes everything look yellow, but um, that's we're going to be working on that in a future video as well. Um, but my goal is to keep these counters clear as much as I can. Um, really happy with how this area turned out. With the new tiles, I wanted to do white. Um, appliances we use our air fryer literally every day if not twice a day um, I got the new white coffee maker and we always use our kettle we got a new white kettle everything looks so pretty white and bright um, again we need to change the lighting because it everything looks yellow but um, the potential is there I'm just really happy with how it all turned out excuse malcolm for talking but absolutely love it <laughs>